Hello guys and welcome back to Classic Britain. Today's video is going to be a Classic Britain archive video where I take the most popular videos from my original channel, re-edit them, re-upload them as one video rather than a series for you guys to enjoy. Now I'm sorry I haven't been putting up much new content in terms of stuff that's been filmed recently. I've been working on a number of videos and they're taking quite some time to shoot, but trust me, the wait will pay off. I'm super, super proud of them. Now you will actually catch me in a new video on the Bearded Explorers channel and the stuff is absolutely insane. I was so privileged and lucky to find the place, and I'm really happy that the owners gave us permission to film. So trust me, you won't want to miss that one. Anyway, today's video is how I found a second Rover P6 estate in Cornwall. I want to thank you guys so much for the support on the first video. It's got nearly 75,000 views and nearly 1,000 likes. Thank you guys so much. I never, ever imagined it would do anything close to that. Now, before we start the video, I want to say a quick message. Only 6.9% of people watching this are actually subscribed, so if you end up liking the video, please subscribe, share with your friends, it really helps me out. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and all the kind support, and let's start the video. Right, this is the big moment. Um, revealing what I've bought. Now, to be honest, a few months ago I never f expected I would own such a vehicle. Um, I didn't even knew one of them existed. Um, and the fact that I found this in Cornwall is pretty astonishing. However, as you have seen, I already found one of them in Cornwall, and this one's quite special because this car is a Series 1 1969 P6 Astora, and there's estimated to be less than six of them left in the entire planet, and I found one. A uh, very quick br brief history on this car. Uh, this car was owned by a chap called Leon Vanstone at Vanstone's Garage, who's well known for Rovers, and um, unfortunately passed away a while back. Now, a guy I bought some side light lenses off, bought a couple of them off him, um, said, oh, there's another P6 estate in Cornwall. I see you have a couple of estates yourself. I said, yes, I do. Um, and he said, well, when I was a child, um, Leon had one of these cars. And he used to sort of drive it around, all that sort of thing. And um, I wonder if it's still there. So he was going to contact the garage for me. But when I released the first estate video, uh, the one I found in Truro, um, it was just, yeah, a guy called Bertie V, who you guys actually commented saying, oh, did you hear anything, um, is Leon's son. And he contacted me and I bought it. So in typical classic Britain fashion. The car doesn't work. <laughs> that's not true, it does work. It just doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> it got camera shy and wet itself a little bit. Um, so firstly, the float got stuck and it ran and drove fine before, like literally a couple weeks ago. Now it doesn't move. Now it doesn't, it, yes. Well, so if you push it, it will. Yeah, it, well, it's, it's, it's got mixture issues. We'll so we'll have to this one's that. safe though, this one's safe for work. Well, that's actually quite tasteful. Yes, yeah, so there you go, tasteful. For once. Get him out! <laughs> <laughs> well, we're doing that mistake again. <laughs> no, because YouTube is going around banning people. Yes, sort of thing. Um, the battery's dead. The car, you can't put in gear. and uh, Because the, um, yeah. Well, it just won't idle, so way we can drive it so it's going to be whisked away <laughs> to the scrapyard <laughs> to the scrapyard no not where it deserves to be oh, well i don't know about that it's a bit <laughs> far isn't it <laughs> bastard <laughs> so that's a mess of us get up right gonna beat it we <laughs> won't ruin what the um historical moment is but um don't worry guys you will be seeing it very soon we just won't you won't be seeing us drive it today sadly no it won't be going in. right let's have a little wander around done this already <laughs> Have you have you ever seen a Series 1 P6 estate before, other than this one? I can't say I honestly have, no. What about a P6 estate? Yeah, I noticed some lunatics got four of them. Oh no, it's you. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm selling two of them, they've already sold. I know, I know. Yes. But, um, do you like Series 1 better than or Series 2? Um, I like this, I used to have a Series 1, I had a blue one. I like the doors better, I like the door openers. The little handles. Yeah, but I hate the seatbelts in this ones. You don't like the protect seatbelts? No, no, I never did. I don't like seatbelts anyway. I'm gonna fly for the wind, like Superman. It's Superman! <laughs> <laughs> well, the trick is they're not crash into things, that's what I find. Yeah. yeah. We did free the float off, but the mixture is all just... Yeah, it's all quite good. It's probably bad petrol in it as well. The battery's not helping. Yeah, I've got if a rebuild... get it on the road, it might be able to it might sort itself out, but we're not gonna be able I've to I've got a rebuild that. kit for it. Should we rebuild the carbs? I have got a carb rebuild kit for this. When you say we, what do you mean we, white man? Well, I can rebuild it. You know that joke? Yes, unfortunately. Yes. <laughs> Double estate time. Got one there. 
one here. Oh no, triple. There's one there, isn't there? It's I forgot about that one. <laughs> In the field of dreams, or nightmares, is it the case maybe? <laughs> this is sold now. It's sold this one? Yeah. They've got the same engine as this one here? Uh, yeah, they're identical, yeah, why? <laughs> How are the carburetors on that one? <laughs> oh, don't... No. <laughs> We're not doing that. Just saying. We the carburetors <laughs> aren't buggered on this. They just need... I reckon the float's stuck. I well, think that's what it is. We'll find out though, won't we? We'll find out. Let's get it off. <laughs> let's get it on. Oh, let's get it on, isn't it? Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> I, was hoping, <laughs> I was hoping that was a lot better. Maybe that would work better. Yes. You never had a V8 one of these, did you? Uh, no, I had a straight... Uh, what was it? A 2.2. The other one's a 2000. The one you had still in Cornwall, amazingly, the yellow one. Yeah, I saw the guy in Launceston. Yeah, and it's imbued now. Yeah, that was a rusty piece of shit. Was it? I thought the yellow one was the one that had the new sunroof in it. That was under the Besco sunroof, but the back the suspension collapsed on me going to Stidians one time. <laughs> oh, so you look at the shows. Hmm? You did show it. No, I was taking my girlfriend up to, uh, she wanted to go to the county, what is it called? Yeah, the Stidians thing? Royal County, it's a showground thing in my bob, where they... The horses and all that. Yeah, where they shove dogs and things. They look a cow. Oh, no, I've never seen one of them before. <laughs> well, there's different breeds, Lucas, Jesus. What? Oh, forget it. Why do I bother? <laughs> You're not a man of refinement. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cow. <laughs> she wanted to go... Not the girlfriend, <laughs> it wasn't the cow. <laughs> <laughs> Took the missus round the ring, here's a no, very No, no, it was an old... Uh, other one. <laughs> I'll tell you something funny, a story about David. When Drag he was, race. When David was in the kitten one time, he was going up Hamburger Hill there, and there was a police car behind him, mm -hmm. he looked in the mirror, and the cops were just visibly hysterically laughing. <laughs> <laughs> they could have overtaken him, but they just thought it was hilarious <laughs> to stay behind him. <laughs> and listen to the revs drop very slowly. Mm. <laughs> it's almost like a cappella there. <laughs> Do car a cappella now. Yes, yeah, so I was driving a, a, thing. a Citroen 2CV, a 1965 Citroen 2CV. I went over to France and I, I was like, my girlfriend and two mates and uh, we were driving down, I, I just got into Calais and just picked up the local, you know, Calais packet or whatever they call it over there and bought a Citroen for 200 francs. And he gave us a spare engine, he said, where are you going? He said, going to Spain. He said, oh, you never make it. Here, take this engine. <laughs> just take this engine with you. And we thought, we can't drive over the Pyrenees with an engine, you're not going to sort it out. So we wrapped in plastic and buried it in the woods. I presume it's still there, somewhere outside you, tour. You, you buried the engine in the woods? Yeah, well what? we could finally come back and get it, but the car blew up in Spain, so we didn't do it. It made it over the Pyrenees, though. So you just buried an engine, there's an engine that you buried? There's an buried. engine buried in the woods, yes. Uh, 1984, I think it was. <laughs> and you could buy a Citroen GTV for 200 francs. Mm. Not euros. No. I sold it for 2,000 pesos, which I think was 20 quid. Was, was, was that more <laughs> than the franc was worth for? Was the peso worth more than the franc? No, the peso was worth ten times less. Oh, so you really did badly. Well, it got us to Spain. <laughs> Drove round for a while. Shame we didn't get you back out again. Oh, did get us out now. <laughs> in but not out. Did it get you to Spain? Yeah, did you get out? Yes. Uh, we were going over the Pyrenees in, in, in with <laughs> four in Liscala, and I was like, oh, I said, I was going so slowly that my friend got out and started walking alongside the car. Because as soon as he got out, the car picked up, so I, I managed to get into second gear. Then he jumped back in the car and ruined that whole idea. There it was, was, a, just it was a guy who had a herd of goats around the corner there going up the Pyrenees. I was like, oh, fuck. But it's okay, the goats outran me, so I was all right. They literally out Yeah, yeah, they, they outran me. You know a car's doing bad when a herd of literal livestock is going faster than you? We, we, we got to the border of Spain there. The border guard was like, you know, papers and all that sort of thing. But I didn't, the car wasn't in my name. There was no insurance on it. There was no tax or in, in, MO, whatever the French MOT is. And, I'm pretty uh, sure the French have an MOT. Yeah, I'm sure they do. What's, what are you actually filming? Uh, you, working on the car. All right. You're actually doing that then? Yes. Oh, that's good. Well, you know, the last time didn't go very well. Hey. There we go. So you don't have to disconnect the linkage at all. Well, we get off the engine, you do. Well, we don't need to. No. Nope. No, because you literally two screws to take the float bowl on. Yep. There's four, actually. Yeah, but there four, you go. yeah. What? Two per side, I was going to say. Jesus. <laughs> is the camera still filming? It's back. Yes, it is. Yep. That's, that's why... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why... That's why I changed the... Um, to the bigger DSLR because the battery is just so good. 
because it's got two big batteries in it. Remember, that one just dies within a couple hours. Yeah, so when we got to the border, um, my wife, who, no, well, you know, wasn't my wife, oh, she was my wife at that time. Is uh, this your, is, we're not talking about the one now? No, I've had three of them. So, You've yeah. had three wives? Yes. When's the fourth one coming? <laughs> as soon as I kill this one. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I wasn't planning on changing anymore. It was very tiresome. Yes, yeah. I don't think I don't. Please say you love your wife now. <laughs> yes, very much so. Yes, that's good. Yeah, so this one's a keeper. This one's a keeper. <laughs> the other ones are Americans. That's one of my mistake there. I should have married Americans. <laughs> the other ones are Americans. <laughs> Sorry, Stephanie. <laughs> we, know you know why, we now know why it won't run. Because <laughs> it's absolutely fucking full of shit. Yeah, look at that. And have a look inside. Uh, get that out of the way, for God's sake. No. There and there. Yeah, it's just yeah. full of guns. It's full of crap. We're going to have to take these carbs off, clean them up, soak them. What even is that? It's filth. Just congealed petrol and... Yep, it's old stale petrol that's gone to bad and... Gone to bad. Gone gone to bad. <laughs> it's gone to the bad side. Breaking bad. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. That's horrible. So... No wonder it won't run. <laughs> I wonder why it won't run. <laughs> Duh. It's amazing it actually did manage to run, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just utterly full of crap. All right, let's get these things off. We'll see you later. Right, carbs are on. Linkage is on. Air filters are off, just in case we um, need to do any mixture adjustments, that sort of stuff. <laughs> now that makes the engine, that's the engine bay look pretty crap. <laughs> Not uh, the point. <laughs> come on, let's fire it up. Yeah, I will. Because you'll do the pumpy pumpy, which does nothing because it has no accelerator. Should. And SUs don't have accelerator pumps. I know. I said they should. Oh, they should? Yeah. I thought you said they did. I was like, no, they don't. No, they don't. Design. It's not a bad design. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. It's how they work. <laughs> yeah, they do. It's on vacuum. Very simple. Choke out. I actually need to choke out, don't I? Uh, take the choke out. Yeah. You're using the old closed peg method. <laughs> Why isn't it the choke coming out? Oh. Check it a minute. Could the table cable be too tight? What? Yeah, there you are. Yep. That was strange. Ready? That was close. Apparently we might do it. How much fuel this thing got? Uh, five litres. Anyway, so I was walking past this place in New Mexico, and there was a Citroen TCB van, which is incredibly rare, especially in America. I said, what's that? He said, oh, well, the tenant left it there. He said, you want it? He goes, no, not really. And he just gave it to me. He was like, have it. Probably worth a fair few bits of money now, but there you go, that's years ago. Yes, yeah, so they'd be worth a lot of money. Everything's worth a lot of money, but <laughs> everything's worth nothing, now it's worth something. Hmm. Anyway, this car's not broken down yet. Please don't <laughs> say that word. <laughs> No, seriously, because if we broke down now, we're fucked. Oh, totally, not really. Yeah, so don't say it. <laughs> Can't even go back to my car because the battery's in this. Yeah, exactly. So don't say it. <laughs> Just don't say it. 
please, for the love of God, you should go straight. And you're going this way. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't fancy breaking down in town. Then I realised I don't really fancy breaking down the bypass either. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you didn't think of that, did you? No, no. It's quicker this way. What does thing even do, 50? <laughs> We're going to find out. Oh, God. You see, wait, wait, I, I, I haven't driven it. It hasn't been driven in what? How many years? Ten. Ten years. Yeah. Well, there we go. Let's find out. <laughs> See if it's got all the gears. We didn't check your oil, did we? I've got some at home. As long as it can. Oh make... yeah, great. Oh, it's got no oil in now, but it's all right. We've got some at home. Well, as long as it can make it two miles. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Oh no. Don't break down. Stop saying it. <laughs> break down, break down. <laughs> Superstitions aren't real, you know, they're just things made up by people. Yeah, but it's not coincidence for they, and whenever we say the word, it happens, okay? It's fine. Yeah. It's a transmission a bit uh, low on oil. Low on oil. leaking past the news. Yellow car, yellow car, yellow car, yellow car, yellow car, yellow car. Missed Four in a row. <laughs> yeah, let's hope we can pull out this junction. I'll wait until a big truck's coming, then I'll pull out. <laughs> Please don't. On your side, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, because it would make a blind bit of difference. <laughs> so scared. Stop, stop, stop. Stop all the dancing. Yeah, look at him. Come on, come on, come on, baby. There we go. <laughs> Smooth as silk. <laughs> Not to break that. Oh shit. Damn it, I said it. Looking for no adventure whatsoever. <laughs> Please, God, nothing go my way. <laughs> Slightly changed lyrics. So, problems with it so far the gearbox is low on oil, um, mixture is probably all over the place, and um, the hoses are all fucked. Lucky I've got the new hose set. The fuel gauge doesn't work. Yeah, it does. There's just nothing in it. Great. Look, this car hasn't run in 10 years. Get out of the fucking way. I'm going faster than you. Please, <laughs> move. This car was built before you were born, for Christ's sake. <laughs> well, I might not be. No, he's just driving a Citroen. Unless you're talking to the car. Talking to cars. Well, it hasn't bought up yet. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to Doolittle. <laughs> he can talk to the cars. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those polls there. was like, would you rather be able to speak five languages? or talk to animals. It was 50 to 49 for, uh, 51 to 49 for... What would uh, you pick? I'd pick talk to animals. Yes, yeah, so would I. Because I want to see what the cats say. <laughs> and you can, look at this wanker, where's yeah. my food? Yeah, where's my food? Get off me. Anyway, we'll see you in a bit. There's some shit over there, clean it up. We'll see you in a bit. It made it. We made it. Hallelujah. Amazingly. <laughs> Astonishing enough, I managed to get here. Look at how good, that's not funny. Look how clean this car looks. Look how good she looks now. That joke's gonna end badly one day, you know that? <laughs> and I might just be driving. <laughs> Never drive. Shut up. Nice burble. Yeah, she's looking fucking pucker, actually. The leaky exhaust and the slightly crusty uh, balance there. Yeah. 
she is looking good. It's nice. There's a little bit of foam there, that'll soon fly off when we speed down the motorway. Yes, we'll see you with more action. Now, ah, bollocks. Okay. No, this is fun. Uh, I'm not. I can't reverse. What's he buddy. doing? He's just doing. I can't. I can't go back. <laughs> well, one of <laughs> one of us is going to have to go back. We can do it. I can't reverse. There's nowhere for me to turn around, mate. You're going to have to go back. You're going to have to tell him something. <laughs> can't just. Take, you know, he's you bigger than go us. Go back. I can't. I can't. There's nowhere for me to turn around. Go back. He's in a discovery. He is being a dick. You know that, right? Yeah. He's a, he's a Range Rover. They're all dicks. <laughs> that goes our Range Rover audience. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just focusing on not hitting anything for a minute. It's a good plan. That guy's an arsehole. Yes. He's then asking why we were driving down here. We live here. <laughs> I live here. Like it's his fucking road. It's not his road. No one owns it. I know. I'm joking. I bet you it's the prick who owns the house at the end of the road. I'm sure it is. And he just by, drives by and says, We were down here robbing a place, fucking idiot. <laughs> I am shitting myself right now. You best not do that. I mean, what an arsehole. He's got complete power, everything, and he's making me reverse loads. Fucking arsehole. Well, that's good for driving and stuff. Well, yeah, but... You know, why don't you pull in there? There's not enough room in there. Do you know how fucking dodgy that is? Wait, stop, 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 stop. He's pulling in there. All right, all right. See, there is plenty of room, see? All right, then. Don't hit him. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Seriously, I've just had to deal with a fucking arsehole. I don't need you making inappropriate jokes. I thought you were gonna hit him, that's why I I'm said I'm not gonna it. hit him. You know, when you say these things, oh, don't hit someone, it makes me freak out, then I will hit him. So just shut the fuck up. I'm not a very good driver, I'm a bit nervous. I didn't I'm nervous, because you don't shut up. If it was David in the car, it would be fine. Oh. Well, and unlike last time. Oh, David right driver, then. Love you too. <laughs> right. What am I doing here? Fucking arsehole. My storage is literally up there. Fucking prick. Robbing a house. <laughs> yes, I'm here robbing you. You should look how little he had to reverse. Yeah. Fucking well. cock munching prick. Sheldon's first road rage. <laughs> but seriously, what the fuck? Is that a raven or no, it's a crow. It's not a crow. It is. <laughs> It's not big enough to be a crow. It's big enough to be a crow. What are you talking about? It's a crow. The, the order of size goes it's Jack a crow. Daw, that's that's not a crow, that's a it's raven. It goes Jackdaw, Raven, Crow. Crows are fucking huge. That's No ravens are big ones. No, they're not. Crows are. Because it's the crow family. Do you know what a gathering of ravens is called, by the way? That's a murder, isn't it? No, that's crows. Yeah, crows is a murder. Or some um... Ravens is an unkindness. I think it's a bit a... unkind to murder someone, isn't it? <laughs> but it's like, that's a bit... You know, like, oh, bloody ravens around here. Oh, they're unkind as a raven. Like, you know. What could a raven possibly do? I tell you what, this road is a lot better because some very nice people, not them, obviously, <laughs> um, have been they've been having their house done and, like, foundations done. So all the, ra the waste gravel they dump on the road it makes it a bit smoother for everyone. <laughs> not that much, but still. It's a blue hit above us. Oh. A bloat of hippopotamus. Eh? A bloat of hippopotamus. It's a bloat. Well, they are bloated, aren't they? I mean, you've seen the size of the fuckers. Come on, it's probably really cold. I'm ready, let's drive home. No, no. no. <laughs> this is yeah. the problem. It's not the ability, driving is not the ability to drive a car, it's the ability to deal with fucking arseholes like that. <laughs> why don't you reverse? Well, you're bigger than me, mate. I mean. That's usually why the bigger car get wins. <laughs> I should have just stood my ground. No, we'd just be sitting there for hours. That's how road I should have said, move your car, you wrinkly old prick. Oh, that would help. Let's defuse the situation. Get, get the spanner out. Yeah. You fuck! Start stabbing his tyres. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that happened to Kismet. Fucking wankers. Oh, yes. That was nice of them, wasn't it? Mm. It's all sorts of very insane people in the world, isn't it? Yes. Including me. 
But I'm harmlessly insane. I'm just rover insane. <laughs> I'm going to stop. At, I'm going to stop at the end of the year. Yeah. Come on, make it back to Penzance. Easy. I could, but I'm not going to. <laughs> will it work or will it not? Nobody knows. Well, it did work before. Well, it did. You might have buggered it up. We don't know if I. Or not. Period smartphone in <laughs> It should work, in theory. You have to hold the choke out for ages though. So will it go vroom vroom? Probably not. But let's just give it a go. Put the camera here, because you can see some things. Actually, I should always keep a cardboard box in here. All right, check out, obviously. <laughs> and it did go vroom vroom. So what we discovered so far is A, the idle speed was too low, which we fixed. So it will idle now, quite well actually. And it's too lean. How too, how, it's way too lean, right? Lean as fuck, basically. Is it leaner than I am? Yes. And that is immensely lean. I can't get the bloody screwdriver in the hole. Said the actress to the bishop. I hope not. <laughs> you went in before, you bloody thing. Half a turn again. Right. Half a six foot. Half yeah, a, again? Fire him up. Fire him up like. So he starts on the button now. And now he's going to push the plunger to see if it will die. Still a bit lean then. This little plunger you're pushing, and it should just about die, right? Yeah. Turn it off. Mixing him up. It's getting better and better each time. I use Snap On Tools exclusively. If anyone wants to, if they would like to sponsor me, please do. You're very expensive. But worth every penny. Oh, right. Have a listen to the exhaust now. A bit healthier. This hasn't been used for ages, so we'll run it round for a bit. I mean, Luke is going to take it for a road trip tomorrow, so hopefully it will be all right. What do you reckon? Still a bit off the lead.
oil speed's increasing, isn't it? So obviously we'll drop the idle down once we get the mixture right. I'm going to check the temperature. Ooh, it's sitting right in the middle to be fair. We're doing what it's supposed to do, so it's not overheating or boiling up. We got a quarter of a tank of fuel, so we're fine. Everything's going hunky dory at the minute. Hopefully it'll stay that way. push the plunger up and see if it dies. Okay. We'll see if it will rev at all. Yeah. Richening it a bit more. It is now running like a Swiss watch. We've got a um, heroin syringe here, a uh, bit of ATF fluid, and a uh, bit on the, um, of oil on the um, arms and the linkage. It'll take time to work through, but when it does, it'll idle a bit slower. And it actually revs now. It does indeed. Which we'll show you. Rev. Rev like a demon from hell. Let's do the uh, screen test. Now the reason it's a bit smoky is uh, that fuel is more ancient than the dinosaurs who made it. <laughs> so that would be why. Today on Classic Britain, it's hose replacement time. So these hoses haven't been changed in a long time. Um, so naturally before you sell a car, you want to do a bit of work to it to make sure it's ready for the next customer. So we've already done new leads, new dizzy cap, new points. Um, I'm going to be replacing the fuel filter as well, as, as, as well as the oil. Um, already done the transmission oil, topped it up. So I did actually pre-loosen this off before camera, so don't worry, they haven't been this loose the whole time. So I'm using a combination of a 7mm socket and quarter inch ratchet, as well as a screwdriver. Now, the hardest ones to get to are these. These are the can't remember what these are called. Bastard. I can't remember now. But um, yeah, ba we'll just call them bastards to get to because they are literally buried deep in there. So it's going to be quite entertaining for you to uh, watch me try and get them out. It's a little bit irritating. Right, we're going to take this hose off. Now, this has actually got green antifreeze in it, which is good. It's got coolant, but uh, this should actually be running blue. I noticed in a few videos that... Uh, a lot of people run green in classic cars. My opinion is it just should be blue. And that is not, okay, that, that is loose. It's just, it just hasn't been off for so long. Christ. Right, I'm gonna, I think we're probably gonna have to try a screwdriver in there and try and break the seal, because you can see that hose has just perished and it's ballooned out around the, the join, which is not what you want. Okay, nothing up there. It doesn't look sort of sludgy inside, which is a plus, obviously, because if that looked sludgy inside, that would mean the engine might may well be full of crap. Sorry, I just knocked the tripod there. Okay, I can literally see the coolant level is there. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to replace these one by one because it's easier just to replace them one at a time rather than just take everything off. And then... Um, Try to deal with it then, it's a lot easier just to get it all out of the way. So, here's our brand new hose, courtesy of Mark Gray at MGBD. 
try and say that quickly, MBGD. Um, so that go, this guy goes here, obviously. Now, we're going to remove these um, little stickers on the end, because naturally it doesn't look very good for our new customer, or the new owner, whoever that may be. Current bet is someone in Australia really wants this car, um, which is really cool. So who knows, it may be the only estate in Australia. But uh, we can reuse these Jubilee clips. They are not really in bad shape, so let's slide the top one on. Slide the bottom one on. We'll do the bottom one first. And I'm just trying to remember which orientation it was, where it was. Sorry, I keep knocking there. Yeah, it was that way, okay. And that just slides on, just like that. Easy peasy. Right, now we're gonna put this Jubilee clip about here. And we're gonna use a little quarter inch, because it's a lot faster to um, tighten this guy up. Also, I just personally, I feel that you can get a hose a lot tighter with um, a quarter inch than you can with a screwdriver. Now, you don't want to do it too tight, otherwise you can damage the hose. You can cut into it with the size of a Jubilee clip. But uh, you just want to be a bit gentle on that front. Right, this one we can go this way, and then we'll just slide this little guy on. When we do the bottom hose, that is when we're going to see all the coolant go out, strip out. Right, there we go. Put that about there. Tighten this. <laughs> I nearly tried to tighten it with that end of the ratchet. That wouldn't work very well. Yeah, you, you generally need the socket for this sort of thing. Now, I don't want it to be too high, obviously, because otherwise you might foul on the bonnet. So, yeah, I think the other way around is actually a better bet. I hope you can hear me all right, because it's a little bit blustery today. That's better. Soon I have my classic Britain merch ready. I know I've been saying that for ages, but I am working on it. Massive thank you to everyone who's been subscribing recently, and a big shout out to the Bitted Explorer who's been boosting my channel quite significantly. We're only 100 subscribers away from 4,000. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it means a lot to me. So thank you so much for that, guys. There we go, that's the top hose done. Right now, <clears throat> we're going to move on to the heater hoses, not the heater, no, those are the bypass hoses, the ones over there, okay, um, we put two of those up there, if I actually just show you how sort of ballooned and damaged this hose is, you can see that it's well past it, so, of course, it's time to change them. Right, so that one's on, now, bottom hose, this one is dick to get to, I don't know, oh of course, yeah it's way down in there, of course it would be. So we're going to see if we can get the ratchet in there, I can't really see too much, oh, I think that's got him, I can't really see if that's loosening it or not, it doesn't seem to be, um, might have to go for the screwdriver this time, which is not good, because that's a little bit more difficult, but Challenge, that's for sure. Looks fairly corroded too. Oh, damn it! Here we go. Because this, this casting piece gets in the way. The way someone's positioned this hose is not this clamp is not exactly ideal. I would have positioned it this side. But yeah. then we should come back. To, that one's a cross thread, cross head rather. So we'll come back to that one. If we do it from the bottom, do the bottom hose. Um, the bottom connection and we can drain the water out so I'll reposition the camera and show you that I'm using the last bit of the camera's juice to show you this hose this hose took over an hour to get off so that's good right uh, we've got some stainless steel jubilee clips which are here so I put one on there and one on there of course um, I'm trying to get the best orientation to go that has to go that way okay right let's do it this, ow, shit, ah, that hurt, ow, <laughs> shoved with my full weight, even though it's not that much, um, on the hose and into myself, that hurt quite a lot, and this one goes on there, like that, I actually had to move this alternator bracket out the way to get to it, <clears throat> right, that is, about as good as we're gonna get, I think. There's no kinks or anything, no no kinks at all, that's what we want. 
there's an innuendo there if anyone wants one, but uh, yeah, that can go in there. God, it's a bastard to get in there, it's really tight. Okay, the yeah, lip is about there, so okay, that's fine there. Um, that's all right. Right, we're gonna get our ratchet on this again. I've noticed the longer stuff tends to be on cars, the harder it is to get them off. Even simple things like hoses can be a right bastard when you want them to, when they want to be. So if we go sort of like there, yeah. tighten us up. There we go. That, that's all right. That's a good. That's an accessible point. We'll just tighten that up until it starts to bite, and then we can let go it won't go any more that way but the lip is about there so we've got plenty of hose on the pipe there we go again you don't want to do this too tight otherwise we can damage the hose that'll do that is nice and tight, that is not going anywhere. Well, this is unexpected. Obviously not a real one because it'd be like four million quid. Very nice sounding Triumph straight six in that. Right guys, that basically brings you to the end of today's video. Now, I did actually film a 200 mile road trip in this car. We used the Series 1 estate to go pick up an S-Type Jaguar for Lucas's wife in Brixham. Unfortunately, on the way back, the GoPro developed an SD card error and we lost all the footage. Now, despite that incredibly annoying detail, you're basically up to date on this car. So, it begs the question, what am I going to do with it now that it's a reliable, usable car and only wants a few minor things? Well, I've actually put it up for sale. Now, the reason for this is, Kismet's been sat under a tarpauling for God knows how long in a yard. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. Despite having some horrific welding done, it's just rotting again, and it's rotting quite rapidly, so it really needs to get done soon before it gets to the point of no return. Now, it's not anywhere near close to that, but I don't want it to get to that stage. Also, Mum's SD1 and a couple other cars I haven't shown you yet need quite a lot of work, so naturally all this costs money. So that's why I'm selling it. And also, I think it's time for someone else to actually enjoy this rare estate. I've had it for a while, I've had some good laughs in it, I've done some work to it, and I think it's time to move on to a brand new loving home. So, anyway. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please love and despise, like and subscribe, comment down below if you want to see more. And uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye for now.